Na, uh, very interesting yung ating pag-uusapan ngayong umaga. No, particular no para sa mga nahihirapang magkaanak. Makakasama natin ngayong umaga no si uh, Dr. Concepcion Ilaw uh, para pag-usapan ang tungkol sa artificial insemination. Magandang magandang umaga, Dr. Good morning. Uh, Dok, uh, siguro umpisahan natin no. Um, actually, uh, marami yung confused no. Ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin, Dok, ng artificial insemination? Artificial insemination is simple. Instead na magko-contact or mag-intercourse yung pasyente sa fertile period, uh, the doctor will tell the patient, okay, uh, uh, the husband will give the specimen, uh, his mm -hmm. semen, will ejaculate and give his specimen and washed in the lab, right. it's prepared, and then it's concentrated. So, in the office, lalagay namin using a special catheter into the uterine cavity, mm -hmm. yung specimen. So, bahala na yung sperms umakit into the fallopian tubes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, 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 Doc, ito, uh, ginagawa ito para doon sa mga, uh, yung, para doon sa mga uh, sperm na hindi kayang umakyat. Ganun not ba? so good ang sperm count nila. Alright. So, a little bit on the low side, but not too low na hindi naman niya kayo or too abnormal ang kanyang semen analysis. Alright. But okay. not the perfect kind. So, gagawin yan. Okay. So, what are the pros of undergoing ano nga, artificial insemination? Kasi sa artificial insemination, na wawash nga yung sperm, sa activate sila and nakoconcentrate. So, uh, and also the better of sperms are chosen mm. to be put inside the uterine cavity. Right, right. Na uh, uh, overcome din yung cervical mucus kung hindi maganda or any infection in the cervix. Pero dapat lang, sure tayo na open ang fallopian tubes ng pasyente at least and the, pa the patient is ovulating, the woman is ovulating. Nadedetermine pala yung doc kung uh, alin yung better sperm cells? Because of the washing procedure the right. method uh, okay. oh, pero uh, doc itong uh, artificial oh, itong artificial insemination is just one uh, of the means for artificial uh, reproduction no, um, uh, can you tell us more no um, doc doon sa iba't ibang uh, paraan or methods ng artificial reproduction available ngayon yes kasi nabanggit ko yung artificial insemination pwede lang gamitin kung a little bit on the low side right. or medyo hindi maganda yung semen analysis pero kapag sobrang hindi maganda ang semen, like uh, less than 1 million, kasi dapat ang normal is 15 million per cc ang concentration mm -hmm. ng semen, ng sperms. Pero kung, kunwari, below 3 million, below 5 million, hindi na masyado maganda yan. Or ang percentage of abnormal sperms, ang dami. Mm -hmm. uh, ang normal sperms kasi dapat at least 4%. Alright. So kung mga 1%, 2%, that's not good. Mm -hmm. Because abnormal sperms cannot fertilize the egg. Alright. Mm -hmm. okay. So, ang ina-advise dyan, in vitro fertilization, kahit na sa mga zero sperm count, for example, pag sinabing, oh, zero sperm count, that doesn't mean wala namang pag-asa ang pasyente. So, may tinatawag na, uh, pwede, pwede i-biopsy yung uh, testicles, and then if we get sperms, those testicular sperms can be used sa in vitro fertilization that's another mm -hmm. procedure in vitro uh, uh, IVF is, uh, or test tube baby test tube yes no? yes mm -hmm. hindi ibig sabihin pag sinabi ng test tube baby ang baby lalaki sa test tube <laughs> kasi ganun ang mga <laughs> ano nang misconception na no? uh, nag-iimagine ng pasyente kaya many years ago habi ng pasyente ayo ako ng test tube kasi sabi niya akala niya lalaki sa <laughs> <Para> test tube <experiment, laughs> no? so ang ibig sabihin lang noon yung sperm yung egg yung sperm inject into the egg, tapos i-observe yon, Like, uh, kung nag-fertilize after 24 hours, masasabi kung nag-fertilize, tapos mag-divide yung cells, usually we transfer into the uterine cavity mm, third day or fifth day mm -hmm. after fertilization. Okay, pero doktor, paano naman kung yung woman yung may problem? Parang yung eggs yung may problem instead of the sperm? What, what are their yes, options naman? Well, we also do... IVF also. Okay. Kasi uh, dun sa IVF, tumisan kung older ang pasyente, ang woman, mm -hmm. uh, pag nag-fertilize na sperm and egg, yung uh, embryo, medyo hard yung cover niya. So, na-assisted hatching. Mayroong procedure na ginagawa para numipis ng konti para mas madaling maka-implant. Alright. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. But, uh, for example, yung woman, sinabi mo, may ibang problema, no? Yes. Like, Ang isa sa mga common problems is uh, hindi sila nag-ovulate ng regular or, you know, uh, binibigyan namin ng mga injections yun para to ensure na mas marami kami makukuhang eggs. Alright. Kasi mahal na nga yung isang procedure na yun. So, mm -hmm. 
uh, ideally, we, we have to get like 10 eggs to 15 eggs para at least maraming chance na may ma-fertilize doon. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, may ibang sakit na nakaka-affect din sa quality ng eggs. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, number one is age. Hindi naman sakit yun. But as the grows older, the quality of the eggs worsen. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, isa pa yung endometriosis. Med medyo madaming pasyente na nagkakaroon ngayon ng endometriosis. Um, minsan hindi yun nakikita sa ultrasound. All right. So, it's more of a clinical diagnosis. Kaya dapat talaga makita ko. Kasi kung may endometriosis, uh, na-affectuhan din ang quality ng eggs. And also the number. Mm -hmm. Mas less and mas worse ang quality. So, okay. kung, uh, may, uh, pag may mga ganitong problema, Doc, yun ang, ginag yun ang ginagawa ninyo. Um, in vitro uh, fertilization. Yes, yes. Uh, At iba pa to Doc, sa donation naman. No? Um, which is uh, sa ibang tao na manggagaling yung a uh, sperm or egg. Uh -oh. Pero gusto ko din mabanggit na kahit na zero sperm count kasi akala nila kailangan sperm donation na pag zero sperm count. Right. Not necessarily kasi marami na kaming pasyenteng zero sperm count na may baby na kanilang baby ngayon. Mm -hmm. um, kasi pwedeng uh, i-biopsy yung testis, tingnan kung meron siyang sperms and i-freeze yun. Alright. Bago mag-test uh, yung baby yung misis niya. Okay. Pero, Dr. you mentioned kanina na mayroon ng case dati na um, past 14 people and they were still able to reproduce artificially. So, yeah. until what age ba is it safe to do this? Well, safe naman siya eh. Ang ano lang, uh, ang ibig mong sabihin yung probably yung uh, chance of uh, having abnormal babies, yung kanyang yeah. abnormalities. Pag uh, less than 40, it's very small. Uh, okay. Ang chance of less than 1%. Pero pag 45 pwedeng umabot ng, kahit natural conception, mm -hmm. pwedeng umabot ng mga 6 to 7 percent mm -hmm. okay. chance of congenital abnormality. Mm -hmm. Pero, ang uh, in vitro or even artificial insemination, wala namang change. Parang ano lang yun eh, yung chance nila of uh, getting abnormal, parehas lang ng general population. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, at, at, doctor, uh, siguro, uh, para rin sa kaalaman na ating mga viewers, no, um, lahat ng technology na ito ay available na no, um, sa Pilipinas. At, uh, meron ba tayong standard rates uh, sa, sa ganitong mga uh, paraan? Yes, available lahat ito sa Philippines. Kaya natutuwa nga ako. Bilo mo, instant yung mga kababayan natin pupunta pa sa ibang bansa. Mm -hmm. uh, ang chance of getting pregnant with our setup, parehas din ng, sa abroad. Kaya mm -hmm. nakakatuwa eh. Mas mura pa nga ng konti sa Philippines. Right. So, ang costing ng artificial insemination, for example, iba na, mas mura kasi yun eh, parang uh, minsan uh, 8 to 10,000. Wow, okay. okay. So that's very affordable, yes. actually. Oo. Akala nga iba, mas mahal pa eh. Mm -hmm. Pero yung in vitro, because mas maraming medications yun, uh, at saka ang maganda sa, in, uh, sa mga injectables ngayon, madaling i-inject kasi self-injection, sub-Q lang sa, sa fats natin. So okay. parang diabetic needle lang, it's so small. Mm -hmm. So hindi ganun kahirap para sa pasyente. Um, uh, ang costing niya will depend on the age of the woman. Alright. Kasi kung mas bata ang babae, mas marami pa siya eggs, assuming, uh, mas low ang dose na kailangan niya, mas mura. Mm -hmm. So, minsan nag-re-range 250,000 to oh. 500,000. Kung mas older pa, minsan umabot ang 550. Kasi kung ang dami-dami niyang medications na kailangan. Right, right. Yes. But what are the, like, if a couple decides to undergo nga artificial insemination, ano ba yung mga precautions na kailangan nila i-take? Actually, wala. Okay. Na, basta dapat, dapat lang sure na open at least one fallopian tube. Mm -hmm. uh, so, dapat na check yun prior. Hindi yung basta lang, lang uh, I mean, unfair yun sa pasyente. Kung hindi ka sure na nag-ovulate yung girl or, or open yung tube niya. Yung pala barado, then you're wasting your money and time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, doctor, uh, you are a reproductive endocrinologist. Um, uh, an ano tong uh, discipline or specialization uh -huh. na ito, doc? Diba may mga general OBGYN doctors. Right. Mm -hmm. Papaan na kami. Iba pa, iba iba pa yun doon. Check kami, ganon. Nag All right, doctor. Four years of residency yun. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we go into subspecialization. Merong sa cancer, merong... Uh, uh, sa amin, katulad ng reproductive endocrinology at sa high-risk pregnancy. So, reproductive endocrinology and infertility sa mga hormones, sa mga pag 
para ma-pregnant siya, yun, usually hmm. ganyan. Actually, uh, interested din kasi ako, no, Carla, um, uh, doon sa mga nag-specialize doon sa ganitong fields. Yes. Na, um, uh, uh, sobrang uh, halaga, no, nung usapin ng uh, reproductive health, no, sa, sa ating bansa. And uh, uh, nakakatuwa, no, na talagang merong mga uh, specialists na tayo, no, ngayon sa ating bansa mm -hmm. um, on, on reproductive technology. Yeah. Uh, anong nag-inspire sa inyo, no, um, doctor, na, na mag-focus, no, um, in this particular field? Uh -huh also an obstetrician gynecologist practicing in Batangas. Ah, okay. So, when uh, I was with her sa province, sabi niya, mag-aral ka ng gynecology. Mm -hmm. And then, when I was a resident in UPPGH, sa Department of OB, uh, nagpunta kami sa, we attended the conference in the States. So, doon ako na-inspire. I wanted really, uh, I was choosing between oncology, cancer, or this one. Pero, when I was in the conference, Sabi ko, ah, this is easy. But it's more dynamic. This field is more dynamic, always happy, you mm. know, <laughs> anticipating right, positive right. outcome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pero, doctor, aside from ano, from your work, what are what what else do you ano? Do you, what uh, what are your other passions? Like, what, uh, what do you keep yourself uh, busy with? Yes, I love singing, <laughs> but I'm not really good at it. But I love to do that, uh, and I also play badminton regularly. Three mm -hmm. times a week. So, yun, yun ang mga ano ko. And uh, you, you have a family, doctor? Yes, I mm -hmm. do. Uh, how um, many children do you I have? I don't. Oh, you don't have children? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm married late. All right. So, girls don't <laughs> wait. Mm -hmm. And, um, but uh, for me, I tried everything too. Because patients ask me, oh, you don't, but it's okay with me. As long as, for me, as long as I've tried everything, what uh, then it's okay. Because mm -hmm. uh, if you don't try, then that will be a problem later on. Uh, so you my passion is just mm -hmm. like helping couples. Right. Uh, you mean doctor? Na subukan yun rin yung uh, artificial methods, tama ba? Everything. Everything. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Pero okay. at the same time, doctor, at least part ka ng ano yung mga couples. Yes, diba? actually. And and because uh, uh, my my uh, thought about this is that. I know that God loves me, and if I prayed about it and He didn't give it to me, uh, He knows what's best for each one of us. Right. You see, so I'm not. Uh, I didn't even question Him. Mm -hmm. You know, but but uh, I am so glad to be part of the families that I helped start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is very interesting. No, yes. um, na na nakatulong talaga no si oh, yes. si doctor don yes. sa pag pag-anak no ng yes. uh, ibang mga kopos. Uh, doctor, uh, recently rin napasa rin yung uh, RH law. Ano yung uh, tingin niyo rito? At ngayon nasa Supreme Court na rin siya actually. Well, I am pro that one because syempre dapat yung sinasabi ng contraceptive pills, madami siyang uses. Mm -hmm. It's not only like for contraception. Mm -hmm. It helps to to uh, in endometriosis cases, mga ibang sakit, regulate menses. Madami yan eh for acne, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. you know, it, it, and it is also good to prevent uh, uh, the incidence of ovarian cancer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lesser mm -hmm. ang incidence when you're on oral contraceptive. So, marami din siyang pluses. Mm -hmm. And uh, I heard then actually, nakaka-increase daw siya ng uh, female hormones, tama ba? Uh, because doc it's, it's com uh -oh, dahil ano siya, estrogen and progesterone combination. So, those who do not ovulate, for example, regularly and they are not interested in getting pregnant, should be on it. Kasi yung mga hindi nag uh, regular menses, sometimes they feel so down mm -hmm. or low because they don't have enough estrogen. Right. And it's not good for the body. A lot of patients are like that. Even if they're slim or fat, I mean, you know. So, uh, it's better to be on the pill. Okay. I guess there is a fear eh, na parang if you take the pill for a long time, parang you won't be able to conceive when you want to. No. So it's not it's just, true. No, that's not true. It's okay. just that the may mask symptoms or mm. signs na you have a problem already. All right. Mm. Actually, alam mo, Carla, alam ko hindi talaga ito to kasi my mom, no, um, uh, had 10 years on the pill. Tapos right right at the moment na nag-stop siya, doon ako uh, na conceive. Oh, wow. So, okay. so very interesting, ba? <laughs> Nagawan oh, talaga nila yung plano na 10 years yung yes, gap namin. Yes, uh, dapat may planning kasi for me importante din na may may time ka to rear your children well. Mm, right. Yung may time ka pa sa mga paano kung ang dami dami mong anak hindi mo sila ma, ma asikaso ng husto. Tapos, siyempre yung pakain pa doon, in education, mm -hmm. yon. Para sa akin, dapat i-plan talaga yung family. 
Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, yan, yan po si uh, Dr. Conception uh, Ilaw, uh, ang isang uh, reproductive endocrinologist na nagbibigay sa atin ng impormasyon no, tungkol sa artificial insemination. Uh, Dok, uh, meron ba tayong gustong uh, sabihin no, sa ating mga tagapanood tungkol na rin siguro sa artificial methods of reproduction? Yes, ang gusto ko lang sabihin is to encourage the women na magpapacheck up kayo sa gynecologist kahit na... Uh, hindi pa kayo ikakasal o hindi pa kayo, hindi nyo pa gusto magka-baby, para lang ma-check mm -hmm. kung ano kaya mga problema, gano'n. And insemination is a simple procedure na office procedure lang yon hindi ka mahala, na ma paka makatulong. Mm -hmm. So, hindi naman lahat, kasi hindi iba lahat masusolusyonan. Masusolusyonan, no? kasi akala ng iba, hindi naman problema ang semen eh. Tapos gusto niya magpa-artificial, hindi yun, hindi yun ideal. Mm -hmm. Okay na, no? Tapos meron tayong mga ibang paraan doon sa mga sobrang mga hirap na kaso uh, like yung in vitro fertilization or test tube baby na of course dapat pag-ipunan yun pero hindi siya din mahirap na gawin. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Alright, Meron uh, lang akong pahabol yes, na question. At what age ba do you recommend women to have their check cups na rin? Uh, number one, as, uh, pag nag, once they're sexually active they should have a right. check, gynecologic mm -hmm. okay. checkup. Uh, maybe even younger patients kung, kasi we can do rectal exams, mm -hmm. not really transvaginal exam, and transrectal ultrasound if they have irregular menses. Kasi a lot of things we can uh, be able to mask, ma-unmask mm -hmm. ma ma with mm -hmm. ultrasound, or yes. diagnose or with ultrasound and internal and rectal exam. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, balita ako na dapat talaga merong ni uh, yes. bawat babae. No? That's very important. Um, bawat couple, hindi lang babae, no? uh -oh. bawat babae at lalaki no? um, para sa, sa kanilang uh, reproductive health. Okay, okay maraming maraming salamat, Doctor. Thank you so much.